Hello everybody and thanks for joining me today. Mike MDs is your BMW getting a false engine coolant level low warning. You've checked it, it's already up to the top and it's still giving this warning. I'm gonna show you how to test the component here in a second. All right, now this is a 2015 528i and many of the other models have uh, coolant expansion tanks just like this and there's two different types of connectors. If you have a connector that looks like this or a level sensor that looks like that, then uh, this test is gonna help out on that. So this was giving a false reading and inside of here there is a float and there's a magnet attached to the float. Now this is a new take tank that the customer replaced on his own and he's saying he's getting a low coolant light warning even though it is topped off you can see um, now i had pulled this off the bottom here it's easy uh, you just turn it uh, and i can't really get under there to show you it goes in that little receptacle to the left that's empty there it it just clocks in there you could pull it out and I already tested to see it had voltage uh, going through it, so I know the circuit is good. This is operated off of a magnet inside of here. Uh, the float has a magnet and it goes up to the tip and it closes the circuit and it says everything is fine. When the float isn't working, it's either waterlogged or the magnet has dropped to the bottom, then this will say uh, it'll have an open circuit and it will say that there's the coolant level is low here. So a good idea is to check the pins. If they're not bent or anything or any damage to the harness, then you're fine. And the way to test this is simply uh, turn the key off, make sure everything's cooled down before you remove this uh, here. Some of these tanks have screws, you can remove this here, or you're gonna actually have to remove the bolts that are holding this uh, down and then flip it and get this out of here. Um, now, once you put the magnet on the tip, uh, the light should go away, but you do have to cycle the key. And if it stays off for a few minutes when it's uh, uh, idling, then, you're, then you know that the tank is bad. Um, and if it doesn't, then you have another problem, but it's usually, it's usually the float in the tank. These sensors rarely go bad uh, on here. Now there's another type of coolant inspection tank. It looks just like this, but the terminals are different. Those have an issue where the electrical pins, uh, it'll get water in there from the tank. They'll seep in there and it'll oxidize and corrode the pins and then you'll get a false warning. In that case, you also have to replace a complete tank. Um, the float and the electronics are actually built into the tank. Now, most of these tanks do come with a new sensor anyway, which is kind of cool. So you don't have to worry about trying to swap those out. Um, but it's pretty common on this model. And this is a new tank and it just happens to be a faulty new tank. But we do see this quite often. Hopefully that helps you. Thanks for joining me today and happy motoring to you.